to celebrate the day of innocence, joy and the day for the busy bees. Yes, today we all have gathered here virtually to celebrate the joyous occasion of Children's Day, which is also the birth anniversary of Pandit Johan Lanhe. The one who believed in the ideology that children are the future of the nation. It is easier to bring strong children than broken men. He had an immense great love for children and liked spending more time with young kids. Children affectionately called him as Chacha Nehru. After he died in 1964, a decision was taken by the Indian government to celebrate his birthday, November 14, as Children's Day to honor him. After he has become the first Prime Minister of Independent India, he advocated for children's compulsory education, which is imperative in nation building. To speak, to provide them the opportunity to open the wings, to fly high, to achieve their goals, to envision our leaders' dream, India must empower the young minds. This children's day, let's take a pledge to ensure empowerment of every child in this country with equal rights, opportunity, health, safety and quality education. It is a time to celebrate and time to demand action for child rights. My humble request to every Michaelite, never compromise on your goals. Live your life with passion. Your passion gives you boundless energy, intense focus and the willpower to overcome all the difficulties in your life. Traditionally, on Children's Day at St. Michael's, we Teachers become the performers and children enjoy being the spectators. But this year, it's going to be the double damaka for the Mike Lights since the festival of lights Diwali falls on the same day. Happy Children's Day and a delightful Diwali to all! Prayer Prayer helps us to walk towards light. It is man's greatest power. Om Bhur Bhuvasmaha Tatsavidam Varenyam Bargo Devasya Divahi Diyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvasmaha Tatsavidam Varenyam Bargo Devasya Divahi Diyo Yona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvasmaha Tatsavidam Varenyam Pargo Devasya Dimahi Diyo Yona Prachodayat Om Shanti 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 Meaning, we meditate on that most adored Supreme Lord, the Creator whose divine light illumines all realms. May this divine light illumine our intellect. Respected Vice Principal, Brother Isidore, Members of the Staff, Dear Parents and Dear Michaelite, Good morning to one and all. I am happy to give the speech on Children's Day. Let me begin my speech with a story. Once a youth, academically excellent in his person went to apply for the managerial position in a big company. The first round of interview was over. The director of the company took the final interview. After going through his resume, which was excellently done well, this particular youth has done so well in his schooling and graduation. He asked a certain question to him. The director asked, Did you obtain any scholarship in school? The youth answered, None. Was it your father who paid the school fees for you? The youth answered, My father passed away when I was one year old. It was my mother who paid the school fees. The director asked, Where did your mother work? The youth answered, my mother worked as a clothes cleaner. The director requested the youth to show his hands. 
the youth showed a pair of hands which were clean and smooth. The director asked, Have you helped your mother any times to wash the clothes? The youth answered, Never. My mother never allowed me. She wanted me to do my studies well and read more books. Furthermore, my mother can wash the clothes faster than me. The director requested the youth, When you go home, go and wash your mother's hands. Then come and see me tomorrow morning. The youth went home happily, assuming that he would get a job. He requested his mother to let him wash her hands. The mother felt strange and happy. With a mixed feeling, the mother showed her hands to the son to wash. When the son started washing the mother's hands, this is the first time he noticed that her mother's hands were wrinkled and there were so many bruises in her hands. And it was very painful for her and she was shivering while he was washing the hands. This is the first time the son noticed that this pair of hands that washed clothes every day to pay the school fees for him. The son was washing the hands. He found the bruises in her mother's hand. Those were the bruises by the price the mother has to pay to pay for his graduation, for his schooling and for his future. After finishing washing his hands, the son quietly went and washed the mother's clothes. That night, mother and son were sitting and chatting for a longer time. The next day morning, the youth went to the director's office. The director inquired, Could you share your experience? The youth replied, Now I know what is appreciation. Without my mother, I could have not reached this stage. Second thing is that, By helping my mother and working together, I understood how difficult it is to get things done. Finally, I appreciate the family relationship. The director said, I am looking for a person of this caliber who can appreciate helping others, who knows what is empathy and whose priority and goal in life is not making money and you are appointed. This particular youth worked very hard and got the cooperation of his subordinate. So diligently they worked as a team and he could bring so much success to his company. A child who has been protected and habitually given whatever he wanted would develop the entitlement mentality. It means that right to ownership. A child would feel that he would always put himself first. He would be ignorant of his parents' efforts and hard work that they show in day-to-day -day life. I remember one of our teachers who worked in our school. He would always remind his son Ronnie, my son, it is my responsibility to give you a decent and good education and it is left to you to take control of your life. Don't expect me to come around and be spoon feeding and I will accompany you wherever you go. You are responsible for whatever you do. A child who has been very charming, loving and affectionate in childhood days will turn out to be a different person altogether when he grows to be an adult. For the sake of money and property, there are many children, they don't take care of their elderly parents and they are so greedy after their property and money. And we have this kind of overprotective parents. Are we really showing love or are we destroying the kid instead? You can let your kid to have a big house, give him a driver and car to travel around. Give him a good meal, learn piano, watch a movie in a big screen. But remember, when you're cutting grass, please let them experience it. After a meal, let them wash their plates and bowls and give them opportunity for them to travel in the public transportation. It is not because you don't have money to buy a car or hire a maid. It is because 
you want to love them in the right way you want them to understand no matter how rich your parents are they should understand the efforts and hard work the parents are putting in they should learn to know the difficulties and tough time the parents experience in order to bring up their children while i was working in one of the residential school one of the boy who passed out from the plus 2 was proceeding to go abroad to do his studies for that he was preparing for his ielts that is the international english language testing system that he was doing it in kwaimoto mind you the parents were coming from very affluent family from kerala palakkad and they were in a resort in a jungle and his mother intentionally put him in kwaimoto and made him to do a part time job in a brookfield shopping mall he has to work almost a 4 hours a day in order to get his pocket money and he was working as a sales person and all 4 hours he was not permitted to sit and it is really a taught him a good lesson for his life i remember an incident at a big shopping mall in trichy it's almost seven story building when i went to do the little bit of shopping one of the sales girl was rushing she want me to buy things from her cabin the reason is that the more sales the, the girl does they will get her incentives as a salary and they have to work more than 10 to 12 hours in a day and mind you that they are not allowed to sit no matter how old they are and it is a matter of survival for many of us who is struggling to earn their livelihood i remember a latest news that i came across a star player who cleans his spikes makes the news this morning but it is not going to be the same for you and me it's a matter of survival for the common man dear children we have posted this greeting card to all of you and if you go through this greeting cards the recipe for the to ensure success and happiness in your life it speaks about so many cherishing values in your life we never say that you have to take up one or two values combination of all the values will enrich your life go through each day and make sure that you live a happy life let me conclude my speech with a quote when i was a child i was full of joy when i was a youth i had full of troubles and challenges when i was an adult i had full of responsibilities and when i became an elder i had full of wisdom let us have the combination of joy troubles challenges and responsibilities so that it will help us to act wisely that may god bless you to enjoy the blissfulness of life stay blessed always thanks to one and all Your dreams I walked alone Don't 
on my silver's ladder's toe I'm happy to see you rise You climbing high for the prize And happy the you you do ten thousand people maybe more people forgetting your what I taught people forgetting your what I've said the wisdom that I share Skills. They said to find another job You heard my words when I taught you You know my arms all the time round you To protect you from falling Like silent raindrops fail and your memory of silence And my students, I love you all as children of my own You may forget me but I cannot The words you find cannot explain I'm happy to be your sign Put in your part as you walk on the Colors filled all over the sky Painting your dreams in real life I wish you all the best in your life And forget me not as your First part of touch life
current pandemic has placed the whole world at a standstill. Our life after COVID is sure to change for the better. We must focus to see the light even during our darkest moments. God calls children a true gift and a blessing. They are filled with joy, love, innocence and laughter. see God in your eyes and the whole world in your beautiful smile. So keep smiling and here's presenting to you with lots of love, a pandemic in this pandemic and hope you all enjoy. God bless you all. <laughs> Come on, girl. Why don't you take off that face mask so we can get... Rahul, what kind of socks are these Rahul? 
and gloves. Is that color? Sir, so social distancing. Ha? You didn't watch cricket match, IPL cricket match. Why? In that they will wear like this only, ma'am. This is for oh. our side. Oh my god. Hasan? <laughs> oh, you have oh. multi color in your hair. What is this? Because of not the right color, sir. Why are you holding an umbrella? Sir, this is social distancing, sir. Oh no. God. And you too have multicolored the hair? Sir, that was my sister's wedding, sir, in lockdown. Oh God. Last warning, okay? Now all of you come with a proper haircut and proper uniform. Understood? Yes, so, sir. Last warning, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Last warning, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, otherwise, you will have to wear your mask while eating. Don't use it for others. Uh, we will be careful with that, okay? Uh, right, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> this is it, John. John, don't give it to anyone, okay? Keep it carefully. You need to okay, use it. Okay. Uh, very important. Take care, take care. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Children, we are going to start today's class with some questions, okay? Yes, ma'am. Ready, all of you? Okay, now first question. What was the best thing you liked about the online classes? You know what I That is the news button. That's very sad. Okay. Second question. Put your hand up if you know the answer. You see a cross on the ambulance? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma what is it for? Huh? One standing like this is the doctor. One sleeping like this is a patient. Yes. <laughs> Masks 
பாய் பாய்